When you're vibrating on a high frequency, life feels amazing. You feel light and at ease and like things come very easy to you. But when you are vibrating on a lower frequency, life feels really hard. Things feel heavy and you might feel lost and confused. You attract many negative situations into your life and your perception is very limited. If this is happening to you right now, I get it. I've been there. But it does not mean that we can't fix it and change our lives. The law of the universe says that we are in full control of our life. So I'm going to list you 10 things you can do right now to raise your vibration and I guarantee you it's going to help. Number one, music. No matter how low you are feeling, the ego actually cannot resist high frequency sounds. So be careful what kind of music you are listening to. Make sure it's not low vibrational music. If it is degrading, if it has any negative aspects to the song, chances are you probably shouldn't be listening to it. It does affect our subconscious mind. And I would recommend going on YouTube, putting on some sound bath music. If you're really feeling low, this is really going to help raise your vibration. There is another song that I would recommend. It's called Weightless by Marconi Union. I'm going to link it down in the description. This song was scientifically labeled as the world's most relaxing song. I believe over 60% of participants have said that it had helped them with anxiety. So that's a great one. And yeah, you guys can check that in the description. Two, joy. Joy is ranked the third highest level on the Hawkins scale of consciousness. When you're feeling very low, call to mind something that makes you experience so much joy in life. This could be something way in the past, an experience you've had, or something in your life right now. But whatever it is, it has to be something so strong that can take you out of your negative emotions and put you in a high frequency. And even better, if you're able to create joy for you in that exact situation, that would be beautiful. Um, an example could be if you are at work. Let's say you work from home or you're at the office. If you have a candle that you really adore, light the candle that day and find a way to make your day feel that much better, to make you feel a lot more happier in that moment. And three is easy to segue from here because it's very similar. It is gratitude. They say you can't feel anger or upset while you're experiencing gratitude at the same time. So whenever you are feeling a negative emotion, I want you to try to shift your energy into something positive, something that you are truly grateful for. And that could be your health or an animal you love. It will always be something very unique to you. And I also would recommend journaling because when you write it down, it strengthens that bond, that focus that you have towards the thing you are grateful for, which will elevate your frequency even more. And if you make this a habit, you will combat any negative mindset that you have over time. Number four, eating high vibrational food. Everything we consume is life force energy, also known as your prana. If we consume too many dead foods, such as meat, overly processed foods, or deep fried foods, we are lowering our vibration. Our body thrives on live earth foods that are organic, nutrient-dense foods, such as fruits and vegetables. It literally changes our vibration. It gives us light and energy when we eat organic fruits and vegetables. When I was vegan, I was vegan for four years. It was not so much that I was never eating meat that I had so much energy. I think it was just the high amounts of organic fruits and vegetables that I would consume on a daily basis that gave me so much energy. And I felt like I was so much more spiritual and connected to source and nature. I can't explain it, but I know for a fact now after doing research, when you consume a lot of fruits and vegetables, you feel so much better about yourself. Also, working on your gut health is very important because your gut is connected to your mind. So you do wanna work on your gut health by consuming gut healthy foods. 
such as sea moss and drinking kombucha. Kombucha. Um, kombucha is like a fermented tea. You can drink it every day and it will really help your stomach. As well as consuming high vibrational fruits and vegetables, I would also recommend limiting alcohol intake. Alcohol is a depressant and there is a lot of toxins that go into it. So yeah, I mean, you might feel good in the moment drinking alcohol, but over time, it's not good for you. Fun fact about me is I've never consumed any alcoholic beverage in my life. Um, I have tried ceremonial wine when I was a little girl. I would dip my finger in it, but I never drank alcohol. I knew from a very young age that I did not want to consume that. I always cared about my body. And growing up, I did see people drinking alcohol and I was always very turned off by the, by the way they were acting. So I was always put off and I mean, I have no regrets. Number five, generosity. Did you know that when you're acting greedy or stingy, and that could be about anything, not just money, it could be about love, affection, attention, you name it, you're lowering your vibration. You are actually coming from a place of lack, and with the law of attraction, you are gonna attract lack. So in accordance to that law, whatever you desire, you can receive that by giving it. As an example, if you desire love, if you offer love outside of you, you are more likely to receive it sooner. You are in a high vibration when you project any random acts of kindness, love, or generosity. Another example, if you're feeling sad and lonely, you can offer kindness or just even a smile to a complete stranger. You will make them smile and you will feel better too. Number six, grounding practices. So this will include meditation, breathwork techniques, or anything that's going to train you to be in the present moment is going to raise your level of consciousness or vibration. These practices will also calm your nervous system and improve your mood. With meditation, you stop your thinking. With that, it's a lot easier to go from not thinking to a positive mood instead of going from a negative mood directly to a positive mood. And a lot of people do not like meditation, especially in the beginning, because it can be really challenging to stop the thinking and that can become frustrating. But if you practice meditation for 66 days, which is when a person is easily able to formulate a habit, you will get used to it and it gets easier and easier. One grounding practice you can try is mindful showering. So what you do is, every day when you go shower, instead of allowing your mind to go all over the place and thinking about everything that's going on in your life, train yourself to be present. So you can grab your soap and shower your arm, wash your leg and tell yourself, I'm washing the dirt off my leg, I see the dirt coming off, I'm cleansing my body. And when you do this, you're training yourself to stop thinking. And this will be a very good daily habit you can incorporate. Number seven, which is immerse yourself into water. Light holds the number one spot in the closest vibration to pure source energy. Water holds a very close second. So anytime you are immersing yourself in water, you are vibrating on a very high frequency, one of the closest frequencies to source itself. That is why many religious practices say that water is cleansing and they use that in their practices because water is actually cleansing. It does remove our negative energy and it does raise your frequency. So if you can go and spend time in a bath, in the pool, this will help with your vibration. Number eight, animals and nature. Being around either will influence your vibration to rise as both are very high vibrational. This could look like cuddling your animal or nurturing a plant, taking care for it, or going on a hike. Number nine, moving your body. Yoga is especially good for removing stagnant energy that has been stuck in your body for many, many years. A lot of the times we store emotional trauma in our body. That is why when you hold a very deep yoga pose, a lot of people will start crying because they're having a emotional as well as physical release. When we move our body, we release endorphins and endorphins are frequency elevating chemicals. 
So if you can go on a hike and be in nature and get your body moving, you'll be killing two birds with one stone. And you will always feel good about going on a walk when you're not feeling at your best. If you're feeling emotional, for me, going on a nice walk is always the cure. And lastly, number 10, forgiveness. Now, you might be wondering, why is this on my list? But hear me out. Blame is a very horrible, low vibrational frequency. I believe it's one of the lowest ones on the scale of consciousness. So if you are holding on to some anger that you have from the past, this could be stuck energy inside of you from many, many years ago. If you can address the situation by just forgiving that person, and you don't even directly need to address that person, you can just do this on your own internally and remove this weight that's been carried on your shoulders for so long. You're going to feel so much better and this will allow you to raise your vibration once and for all. Above all, I want you to understand this very important thing. Your thoughts create emotion. Emotion means energy in motion. With that, your thoughts create your vibration. So ultimately, you're choosing thoughts that are either vibrating on a very high or low frequency. Yes, choosing. Regardless of what situation you are in, it is up to you to decide what you want to think about, what thought process you want to go through. It is a choice. Whether that choice is subconscious or conscious, you are always choosing your thoughts. There is nothing more important than choosing thoughts that make you happy. This is your superpower. Always committing to choosing positive thoughts and a positive mindset is what allows many people to thrive even in the most toxic situations. People that have endured so much emotional trauma or physical trauma succeed in life. And this is because they choose to. Okay, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you want to support this channel, please give it a like and subscribe. And I will see you soon.